Stop doing that. My name's Yorick, I'm on there. Got the mind for herbal remedy. Maybe a 45. That's a good herbal remedy. Cool. What is this guy straight out of the Chinese army? Hi. Welcome to Sang's Herbal Remedies. I am Sang. How may I assist you? Assist me the only way you know how. Are uh, you with uh, immigration? Uh, I don't think so. Are you police? <laughs> no, but I do enjoy harassing people. Hold on, please. These are good remedies for many problems. No credit cards. Weapons never solved any problems. I'll take 12. Oh my god, and he's got a crossbow. And an, an actual katana. That's beautiful. I have just a shin gun, though. Hmm. Lethality 8 with feet. Yeesh. Lethality 6 with feet. I don't have the skill to use this, but my god, if I did. Anyways. Ooh, a new type of Uzi. I want, but cannot buy. I do have a lot of guns already. Maybe I should be happy with what I got. I was really hoping he might have uh, some more armor or something, though. Whatever. I'll get a few of those. I need more shells. I do not need a ring. I do not need a watch. I do not need a nice ring. And I can't imagine he'd want to buy blood, but for some reason he'll take it. Especially the vampire blood. I can't begin to explain that. Hmm. Here, have old Wrenchy. He's treated me well, through many hardships. And he keeps coming back to me. You'll always have him. You'll never lose him. You won't be able to. Anyways, that's Sing Shop. He has guns, he has swords. I saw a crossbow. Maybe I should have got that. I'm kind of sneaky sometimes. That's not an actual store. Oh, I know I keep asking it, but if someone could translate this. Something about 2002. Something about, I think I said something about, what is that? April 4th, 2002? Did something important happen then? And what's this shop? Ooh. Hey. Hey, Buddha. You always look so happy. Neat. Uh, the usual request, please. Watch it say something like, I sold this to some stupid American, and he has no idea what it says. There is something in this door for everybody. Glee? Everyone gets what they deserve. Don't tell me things like that. Maggots love you. Trust mm. me. Cut down on the opium, dude. I'm trying to have a conversation. I like the way you think. <laughs> I'm reminded of a story. A thief named Lin was asked to steal an emerald for the head of his gang. 
The gem belonged to a man in a Hong Kong triad. Most would refuse this danger, but Lin was anxious to do it, and indeed he did. Yes? When Lin returned, he did not want to part with the emerald he stole. He felt that the trouble he went through to take it made his ownership legitimate. The man who hired him did not feel the same way, nor did the man he stole it from. Incredulous. Do you know what happened to Lin? Something bad, I'll wager. Hmm. He lay down and became a mountain. No. Lin was caught. One man has his gem back, but Lin's employer has nothing. I'd heard this tale from him when he visited my store. Sadly, I had nothing to sell him. Oh, so your store doesn't have something for everybody. You just went back on your own promise. Good story. Needs more shuttlecock, though. Lin's eyes wanted more than his hands could keep. Ambitious eyes are, sadly, not for sale here at the moment. Though I do have a buyer interested. Do you know when the next eye harvest is, by chance? Tonight. Lin's body is being kept in the freezer in the back of a local noodle shop I hear. There are people there who want him intact. But I think his eyes would fill my shelf nicely. If they were to wander in, I gouge hell. A fitting punishment for him. Eyes feel like grapes. And I get grapes more than any other fruit. I knew you would. What other reason to waste words on the ill fated? Have you seen any sewer rats? No. Peel off that facade. How rude of me not to introduce myself. You may call me Mr. Ox. This is my shop. Do you find it interesting? There are no two like it on the road to hell. I need nukes? I mean, I don't, but I, I mean, maybe I do. Eventually. I sell things many would find cruel. But weapons? No. Have you seen any sewer rats? No. Not here. Maybe elsewhere. Well, that's interesting. I get the feeling this hey, this guy has some place in Chinese lore. But I, I don't know Chinese lore that well to say on it. I bet he's an interesting character, though. Also, no smoking in his shop. Back of a local noodle shop, huh? Well, not going that way. That pigeon will not shut the hell up. If I find that fucking thing. Anyways, it's at the back of a noodle shop. So, let's circle around a bit. Ah! <sighs> Yeesh. Okay, so I guess I didn't really need to use aspects for that. It's a little obvious they're there. Couple of tongs sitting in the back of a noodle shop. What is it? Open towards me? Dip sauce.
You know, Mr. Ox didn't really say anything about there being no death. So, I mean, what are they gonna do? Fucking shoot me. Hey, Lynn. Oh, there are little spoods, but it doesn't matter. The important thing is we have eyeballs. Even better, we have somebody else's. Never pass that free blood. Though, I lost some style points. Checking how much experience I got. Under what we're saving up for next time. I kind of like the uh, auto level feature. Stop doing that. Mother shan't be too pleased. None too you are pleased. always welcome here. Now you really get to play the style of whatever clan you're picking. <laughs> These eyes turned out to be not mine. You want them? Mm. Yes. They stare ambitiously. Hello, Lin. Do you like it there? Dude. These are an excellent addition to my shop. Here, please accept this as a fair trade. I gave you eyeballs, I not ears. Have another task. If it piques your curiosity. More eyes. I need you to be a bad luck farmer. Do you know what this is? It brings a smile to my face just hearing it. A customer has bought an unlucky talisman from me and wishes it delivered to an enemy of theirs. I need you to place this in the locker of a patron at the Lotus Blossom Massage Parlor. So that the bad luck can boom. I've got nothing but time to get kind. Of, I've got nothing but kill to time. My customer has placed a black circle on his enemy's locker. Plant to talisman. Bad luck, farmer. <laughs> The harvest is going to be huge this year. Probably. Bad luck, farmer. What did he give me in trade? Or did he just give me cash? Antique locket. This locket is old and slightly tarnished. It might be your imagination, but it seems to ra radiate an unnatural warmth. It quickens your fingers. Wearing it increases your security skill by one. Cool. Lock picking seven. Well, things are coming along nicely. I mean, you know, with blood buff. I don't want to talk to you. Move. Hey, he's not Asian. Never mind me. Perfectly normal to jump over that. Ooh, treasure chests. No pirate booty. Just regular booty. Oh, wait. <laughs> it was a locker I was looking for. That's right. It's all coming back to me. A talisman that you were asked to put in the marked locker at the Lotus Blossom. Okay. Hey! What the hell you think you're doing? That's my locker, sucker! <laughs> Even the fattest frogs have to return to the water. Ribbit. Ribbit. Sucker! Ow! Ow! But 
as soon as he figures out how to jump over that, I get the feeling he's gonna drown. Well, bad luck. Maggots love you. Oh, I bet they do. The amount of bodies I have left in my wake is absurd. Lady. Dude. Bugs. Let's see what old man Ox has got to say now. We are breezing through his quests. They are easy as hell. Bad luck farmer this. Rip out somebody's eyeballs. You know, normal things. You're always welcome here. Farmer business. Did the seed take root? You can say it that way. Hmm. I suppose this is what we agreed to. Perhaps bad luck will flower in time. Please, take this payment. Not bad. Do you have another chore? You are a model employee. Perhaps you can work for me again someday. Until then, keep up the excellent job. And if you ever meet someone on the six paths with a soul to sell, please recommend my show. On the six paths. I'm gonna have to try and remember that and look it up. Employee of the month. Take that, Dad. It's a shame, though. I was really hoping for more quests from Mr. Ox. He's a nice guy. An interesting guy. He's from Chinese hell, isn't he? I get that feeling. Anyways, what we got left to do? You are to meet Zhao in his warehouse. I'm still helping out. Hell, still helping out Mr. Ho, so he doesn't have any help for his barbus quite yet. And that's still free. Oh, and we spent something. Level 4 obfuscate. You may freely move while invisible. You would be rebit if you act, interact with the environment or touch anyone or use containers. Additionally, any melee or unarmed attack that breaks Occuscape 4 will deal double damage. That's awesome. Oh my god. It's a shame it's on melee only though. If I could uh, 44 Magnum to the back of someone's head for double damage, that would be absurd though, I guess. Not to mention the goddamn spaz. So, does that mean I can run around standing up Occuscated? Well, welcome to Chinatown. Ah, Zhao's Imports. Yeah, this is where it's supposed to be. And next time, we'll be doing just that. It's an interesting place. I like it so far, this Chinatown. Good herbal remedies. Great ice tea. Anyways. Oh, and, uh... You know what? Better... Better keep that unsaid. Until then, farewell, vampire.